All right, Coop. Today ended the NFL draft, and only one HBCU player was drafted. What are your thoughts? I, I thought I was back in the year 2000 or 2010. I know this is 2023. I thought the NFL had passed that point of where they would pass up players who were worthy of being drafted coming out of the HBCUs. This is a travesty, uh, but it's no surprise. We're talking about the NFL. And uh, they've always uh, held back in recent years in regards to drafting players from HBCUs. Not enough is happening in the war rooms. The HBCUs have no representation now. Dion, Coach Prime is gone, uh, Dr. Charles McCullen, and the SWAC officials, HB, the other HBCU conferences are all docile when it comes to challenging the, the NFL in regards to drafting their athletes. Yeah, uh, Doug Williams said there's nobody fighting for these young men in the war room. And I, you believe I, that? I, yes, I, I agree with that totally. And then you look at the other propaganda, you watch the TV experts, analysts on the draft, uh, they, uh, they ignore the HBCUs also. Many of them probably don't know the way to Prairie View or Howard or Moorhouse or whatever. So uh, what, do you, what, what can we expect? Just what we got in regards to HBCUs. The NFL got an elf. An elf, in my opinion. Definitely. All right. Thank you, Coop. How can everybody follow you? Well, if I can get over what just happened with this draft, I'll be back on it. I come on every day at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, KCOH Radio, 1230 a.m. KCOH, the source on the Internet, and Ralph Cooper Facebook Live. Okay. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you.